I look at myself as someone that probably shouldn't have made it. <laughs> Five foot eight Filipino kid from the south of Calgary that started playing hockey and the dreams of going to the NHL when it didn't pan out. So I switched to long track. I just kept at it and eventually found myself at the Olympic Games. Choosing generosity isn't easy. It's a conscious, sincere act. Generosity is then a challenge. And in your moment, thinking back, was it a time when you challenged yourself to concede your individual ambitions? Maybe it was the right thing to do, maybe it was the wrong thing to do. You know, in my moment, obviously what Denny was able to accomplish made it feel right. It's in embracing that dilemma Embracing generosity and owning the outcome, whatever it may be. You know, after those Olympics, you know, it's kind of a blur. After Denny crossed the line, we saw his name on the board at second place. I remember just like looking down being like, is this real life? I feel like I'm in a Disney movie right now. And, there was a bunch of our staff around me and they're giving me pats on the back and you know, I immediately, the first thing I wanted to do was get out of there and find my own space because it was Denny's moment, they should be celebrating Denny. Well, the whole country kind of took a step back and maybe realized that selflessness can benefit you in a way. You know, the difficulty kind of lies in you want to be on the ice, you want to be the one um, racing for your country and looking at it from our team perspective on what we want to accomplish as a team, that made the decision to give my spot to uh, Denny so easy. I really want to represent Canada in the best way and whether I was on the ice or not on the ice, it was more about the team and not about recognition at all. I'm trying to be involved in the community as much as possible. Um, again, I think that's something I really believe in and one of the things that inspired me to try to go to the Olympics is try to inspire the young ones to you know, follow their dreams and follow their passion to fully pursue whatever they want to. I've seen firsthand what that impact can do. So, you know, whether it's getting up to schools, just doing talks on know how to goal set. It's, it's hard sometimes with how busy our training schedule and our travel schedule is but I think it means so much to someone when you take time out of your day to just you know drop a little bit of wisdom or just to give them a pat on the back and keep tell them to keep going. You know it just creates this unique connection. It's really special. I think that's what athletes have the power to do, is really inspire a generation to keep going. I think a lot of athletes, they can be vulnerable and show the troubles that they've had in their life and you know, how they've gone past it to have success. Success can be a lot of different things, whether it is medals or overcoming any adversity that they've gone through. I think looking back, I am an example to the young skaters to learn from my mistakes so they don't make the same things I do and you know I've learned from the skaters older than me. And that goes across all sports. You know it takes the village to raise one person and I wouldn't have been able to get there without my teammates. I think it's a really awesome privilege that speed skating has given me.